Okay, gang, welcome back. Um, I wanted to, I started editing one of my photographs and I noticed that I was doing something that was a teachable moment. Um, here is a photograph I took at the um, teacher rally. Um, I sat my camera up on a tripod and, and uh, held it above my head and fired the, the picture. But what I wanted to note here is that the reds aren't very red. And so this video is for anybody using Photoshop. I want to, um, isolate a certain color and make it a little bit um, more impactful. Um, so what I'm going to use is something you might have used already, I've taught you. I'm going to use my select color range and I'm going to select this red right here. And I'm going to drag my fuzzy slider. If I drag it too much, I'm going to get, I can see I'm getting some of the building in there. I don't necessarily want to affect that. Everything white is what's going to be effective, which is the everything you're seeing here in the picture, the stripes on the flags and the t-shirts. Okay, so I have a selection built right now and I'm going to go over here and give this a, um, I believe these are called layer adjustments. Yeah, all right. So I'm gonna click here and give it a, go to my color balance, which is right there. And um, you see the process colors, cyan, yellow, magenta, and black. And then you see the the web colors, red, green, and blue. All right, so uh, what I'm gonna do is now just hike up the red. And you're gonna see that if I go really red, it really pops. And this would be good for printing. If I wanted to really make a print and you know uh, make it real powerful, I, I probably induce the color. I'm gonna take it back just a little, okay? And close that down. Let's look at before and after. Yeah, the colors pop. If I had done a color balance and uh, pulled the reds up with the whole image being selected, obviously I would have been at selecting, I would have been making the greens look a little brown by adding, introducing a little red. So this is uh, pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and look at one more picture. Um, this one right here, this is before and after. There's before and you see after. So with that being said, um, we have now added um, one more component to our, I guess this would go fall under our layer masking, um, use, selecting a primary color. There's other things we can do with um, those windows, but this is pretty good for the day. All right, signing off.